for rookie of the year, we have another scenario where we have to take a look at three candidates only. So we're going to go uh, with this one. Emily Fox for Racing Louisville FC, Victoria Pickett for Kansas City Current, and Trinity Rodman for Washington Spirit. Before we get into the picks, because I get to go first in this one, but <laughs> I want to pitch you a question before I give my pick, similar to how you did with the goalkeeper. If there were other rookies that you can throw into this class, Lisa, who are you looking at? And oh, that's a good question. That's a tricky question. Um I think someone, I mean, when I look at Kansas City Current, they had a number of rookies. I think Kiki Pickett did a really nice job this year as well, but she didn't really get into her groove until later in the season. Um, I, I, Looking at the candidates that they already have, Emily Fox, Victoria Pickett, Trinity Rodman, I mean, really good picks, right? Like, these were people that... Uh, and, and players that the league and fans were talking about early on when they were in college and saying, hey, they're going to come into this league. Um, I think I think they did make pretty big impacts in, in what happened here. What about you? Who do you want? Who else do you want to see on this list? I think there would have been a case for Tatum Malazzo, honestly. Yeah. Chicago Red Stars. I mean, this is somebody who had to slot in during that Olympic stretch, right? And uh, had to slot in during that quarterfinal and uh, made shut some things down, forgot them there. Uh, and that has that was a sort of a being billed as a bit of a high octane kind of attack. And maybe having a rookie outside back would have been something that perhaps a coach circles and says, we're going to attack this right away. But uh, Malazzo was really getting involved in the attack uh, during that quarterfinal and help, helping to neutralize some things. Um, so she, she was someone who had a pretty strong maybe half of a season, but maybe mm -hmm. that comes into play when we're looking at bodies of, of work, right? So yeah. Um, for for these for for this particular group, these three, Emily Fox, Victoria Pickett, Trini Rodman, I think it's a solid group. But I think there's a, a pretty big runaway here for a lot of people, and I think it's Trinity Rodman that is my pick in this one. Just so impressive of a first year in the league, which quite frankly, not a lot of people, I'll throw myself included, uh, weren't too sure if that was going to be the case for, for this player because this was a young, young player who declared for the draft at 18. Uh, before even setting a foot in a college pitch, you know, had had already done, like has settled things out with Washington State, was going to play there collegiately, but then made the decision to go pro. So there was a bit of a narrative, a bit of a storyline that seemed like, well, who's going to take this very young player that doesn't have a ton of experience, but could have a very, very high ceiling and continue to take on a player as a developmental player? Because when you get a player like that, you you have to sort of make a commitment to continue their growth and development, right? So it ended up being uh, the spirit. And it ended up being a little bit of maybe a, a high high risk and obviously what's become high reward because this is a player who had a phenomenal lights out 2021 season, played 20, 23 games, 20 starts right throughout that regular season, absolutely became a staple in that attack uh, with somebody like an Ashley Sanchez and Ashley Hatch uh, tied the league in assists, you know, for, for six, put together uh, some, some goals of her own uh, six that all came from inside of the box. Um, and she was the, the team leader and in expected assists with like three point point seven. So it's a, uh, it was a delight just sort of watching her play this season and also like a bit of a pleasant surprise because it was sort of like week in and week out. It just sort of felt like this player kept showing new parts of her game to the audience that was viewing. So uh, it was very, very impressive. And it was even more impressive to sort of see her get into kind of big game scenarios. Right. Mm -hmm. And not be intimidated by the sort of pressure of that moment, right? Which is another thing that could sometimes maybe differentiate, right? The rookies from the, from the veterans. And it didn't look like that uh, for, for, for Trini Grabman. Even maybe she's a player, you can argue that there are moments where she can be easily frustrated, right? But watching her sort of play over the course of a 90 minutes and sort of get out of that space and then deliver has, has, has been a delight. So she's absolutely my pick for, for rookie of the year. Trinity Rodman is my pick too. Um, like you said, I think a runaway for a lot of candidates. It's interesting you touched on um, a, a bit of her immaturity, not in a bad way, in actually a really good way in being a rookie in this league that teams could frustrate her and and force her to commit fouls and draw yellow cards. Um, but as 
she progressed throughout the season, she grew. And I think that's what makes a rookie a really good candidate for rookie of the year. Because yes, you can come in and be really good, but if you're not getting better and you're not learning and you are not growing into the professional game throughout your first season, you shouldn't be rookie of the year. Um, and Trinity Rodman did exactly that. She was the youngest player drafted in the NWSL at 18 years old. Uh, so hello, the rookiest of all the rookies. Um, and there was a lot of hype surrounding her entrance coming into this league and what she was going to do and her name and everything like that and everything she had done previously in her career. Um, but I think she produced five goals league bleeding tied for assist with six. Um, and she was consistent in what she did on the pitch. Um, she grew, but she was consistent. So it's, it, it, there weren't a lot of games where we were like, wow, Trinity Rodman really didn't show up. No, she showed up and she did what she could day in and day out. And it's her effort and her work rate off the ball too, that really shown, especially as a forward, um, playing, doing high press, getting back on defense, putting pressure on other teams. And, and her vision of the field got better throughout the season. Her ability to want to find the space, to find the space, and then to be able to attack the space um, and take on defenders. That girl is fearless. And it's so fun. It is so fun to watch a rookie that plays much bigger than herself. For sure, I give this to Trinity Rodman, Rookie of the Year. Yeah, I'm with you on that. The six goals, like I said, the six goals coming from in, inside the yeah. box. So just a testament to her fearlessness a little bit, not afraid to kind of take defenders uh, 1v1. I think if I had to pick a runner up for this one, it'd probably be Emily Fox. Yeah, me too. Um, that, that might be the, the closest, right, in terms of kind of a breakout rookie year in terms of rating success. Um, but um, not not too surprising that this is the one that we're also kind of uh, agreeing on.